Hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would share with you a few of my July favorites. Now, unfortunately, I don't, or maybe fortunately, I don't have a whole lot of July favorites. So uh, some of them I've mentioned in other videos and they bear mentioning again. Yeah, you know, I have been experimenting a little bit with skincare starting the derma rolling, using my reverse anti-aging light therapy, and uh, the, the Nevaeh, you know, firming things that I talked about in other videos, so I'm not going to really, you know, go into any of that because I just thought I would stick to things that I bought new in July that was skincare related. So the first thing is I have really discovered this really cool mask that I really like. I bought it in TJ Maxx. It's an Eki Berry I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Aki Berry face mask and it's organic from Australia and I really, really, really like it. Now it has a little bit of a smell. So if you are, you know, sensitive to fragrance, you might not really, I mean, it's not a strong smell, but I think it's a pretty smell. I really, it's, it actually smells like berries. So yeah, it smells like berries and that's that's what I'm gonna say. So anyways, I got this at TJ Maxx. I paid $4.99 and I have used it several times. I really, really like it. It's a face mask. I let it, I after I wash my face, I put it on. I let it sit on my skin, I let it dry. Then I, I wash it off. So I really like that a lot. Another thing that I bought in TJ Maxx is this, Promegranate Lactic Acid Exfoliant. Now I've only used this maybe four times. I haven't used this a whole lot, and uh, only because I'm really, I'm really cautious with ex exfoliants on my skin because I had such a bad experience. With it also smells very berry. So I very berry. I kind of like that. So if you if you if you like a berry smell, this is really. A nice smell. Both of these are really nice smells, but they're very, very, very. So uh, those are new to me this month in July. Both of them are TJ Maxx finds. The other thing that, you know, I'm still using, and anytime I see this, no matter where I'm at, if I see this in Marshalls or I see this in TJ Maxx, if I see one jar or two jars, I'm going to pick it up. Even though I don't really need it, I'm going to pick it up. And that is my Lana Cream B Venom face mask. Not new in July, but I bought this one new in July. I <laughs> just haven't opened it yet. So I really, really, really like this an awful lot. The other two products that I bought, again, is a repurchase. This is my AP24 Fluoride Whitening Toothpaste. This is really, really good for sensitive teeth like mine. And this is um, from a company called New Skin. This is a multi-level marketing company. They sell a lot of different products. This is the only product that I, I buy from this company. I don't sell it. I'm not a part. I'm not affiliated in any way at all. And this is expensive toothpaste. So if I found an alternate toothpaste that worked just as well as this for my teeth that gave me some whitening abilities that was good for super, super sensitive, sensitive teeth like mine, I would buy it. The other thing that I bought is the, and I've mentioned this a couple of times, and I probably will continue to mention this as I, as this is just going to be a staple for me. It's a game changer as far as sunblock. This is, you know, the thing is with this mineral um, lotion, this is the Australian gold. It's non-greasy. This is the botanical, botanica, botanical, oh my God, um, sunscreen. This is the face, the SPF 50. <laughs> One of these days I'll learn how to talk. The thing with this is that it can be very mattifying. So when I put this on, I make sure that I am, I am well greased up, meaning that I've done my skincare for the morning and typically, no matter what makeup, even if I'm using my, my IT CC cream, the illumination, I still usually have to apply some sort of heavy duty moisturizer. My skin is very, it can be very dry in patches. It can be, it can, any, any product that's dry or mattifies on it and looks just really horrible. So I, I'll use a face oil and, um, you know, I, sometimes I'll put this on right before I put it on my face and then I put some of this on my hands and I, I, I use a lot. I put this all over my face. I even go down into my neck. What I really love about this stuff is it doesn't turn my skin orange, so I have no reaction at all. And I know some of you have probably tried this and you don't like it, but for me, for my skin, this works really well. And then if I let this dry on my skin, 
you know, half hour or so depending on my time. And then depending on what I'm doing, I may or may not want to add a foundation. Now, if I'm working, I'll add a foundation. I usually like a light coverage. I don't like anything super heavy. Sometimes I use my It's CC cream that gives me that other 50 SPF. Other times I use the Physician's Formula, just the Cushion Foundation. I love that because it's 50. I still love my number seven. I have number seven in wheat. The thing I don't like about that is it's uh, only a 15 SPF, but those are the three the three go-to foundations that I have been using. But then in July, I added this baby on. And this is the Super BB. And this is Physician's Formula. This is a 30 SPF. I really, I really like this. This is a very thick foundation. So with this, I do have to add a little bit of oil and just mix it in. And then it just goes on really nice on my skin. So this is a heavier coverage. It kind of... um. It reminds me of my IT CC cream a lot because it is a heavier coverage on my skin. I prefer a light coverage, but there are times where I just want to have a good even blend. And the, the other thing that I have tried, and I mentioned this before, is the Butter Bronzer. So I've discovered that I really like a creamier bronzer. I don't like the powder. So I'm really liking this a lot. It goes on really well. The color is really nice on my skin. I love it. And it's kind of got this cute little spongy thing, <laughs> applicator thing that, that's in there. So it's got a little mirror so you can, you know, you can touch up and you can see and you can check it out. You can say, oh, I like it or I don't like it. So I like this a lot and I'm going to, oops, now I can't open it. I'm all fingers right now. So anyways, so if I was going to try to, whoops, get into the little, whatever, I'm probably messing this, this up big time, but um, yeah. So I do, I do like this butter bronzer a lot. And I think it goes right along with my physician's formula, uh, the cushion foundation that I like. So I'm all about sunblock. I, I'm all about the sun coverage, the sun protection. I've been doing a lot of skincare and it, it just makes sense to me to really, really protect what I have going on. So yeah, that's, um, that's my July. That's my July favorite. Oh, and I have this rosehip oil. This is the cold press organic rosehip oil. I don't even know where I got this, but it's cruelty free, it's organic, it's cold press, it's rosehip oil. I, I think I might have bought this at TJ Maxx at one point, and I, I do like this an awful lot. So depending on what I'm doing, what I have going on with my neck, I will blend this with my Retin-A if I'm putting it down on my neck. So, so my July favorites are a little bit on the boring side. I really didn't buy a whole lot. I um, Yeah, I didn't because I went away on vacation and I'm probably, when this is uploading, I'll be away on vacation again. We do take two weeks every summer. So we go in the beginning of July and we go camping along the ocean and then we go again the first 10 days in August and we go camping along the ocean up in Bar Harbor, Maine and absolutely love it. We have a great little campsite. So you probably, who knows, maybe you've already seen some vlogs come up with our camping and all that, but that's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Kind of a boring July for new products. Bye. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. All of you that are among my loyal, loyal viewers, thank you so much. You're more than viewers to me. You're my friends and I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye guys.